Hey guys, welcome to Collegiated Engineering with Bongan Gumede. So today we'll be doing uh, ARPR and we are still focusing on paper two. This is just uh, part two. Okay, so we're just going to do question number nine, number nine and number ten. Okay, and then um, here it says that number nine says fill in the metals that you will use in the following live circuit diagram. Okay and says basic metering but i've done a, a video on this but uh just to show you the actual pdf how it comes like so it will give you this drawing but this one this is what you have to do you have to write for yourself this is just the answer but you actually get this drawing okay so now from this drawing you must fill in these meters that they give you which is a for a meter v for volt meter and then the letter ohm for uh, the, the symbol results for ohm, uh, which will be your ohm meter. Okay. So now, if you check on your answer, you'll ch you'll see that uh, for your here um, they will put the ohm meter, and then we put a voltmeter, then ohm meter, ohm meter, and voltmeter. But we haven't put any uh, ohm meter. But why? read the question it says that fill in the meters that you will use in a life in a life circuit diagram so it means that when power is applied to this circuit which meters will you use number one let's check for our resistance we don't uh, use our ohmmeter or measure resistance when there is power okay so we want uh, power to be off before you measure your resistance so that's point number one so that's why if you check on your answer there is no ometer that is being placed anyway. But if the question was saying that not in a life circuit diagram, that's when maybe we're gonna connect our ometer. But now this is a live diagram, so there's current flowing here. If you touch it, you'll be, you'll get electrocuted. So as long as there's current flowing, we don't use we don't measure resistance. Okay, so. We see here we see the we put a uh, remember we we're gonna put your ammeter or our ammeter in series okay but now our voltmeter has to be in uh, in parallel okay so that's why we put it in parallel here and we also put it in parallel here okay but now our ammeter will put it here in series and this one is actually in series also so yeah that's how we connect our ammeter and our voltmeters but go and watch the video where i show you the actual demonstrations for you to understand more okay so i'm just showing you how uh, your paper will look like or how it uh it looks like okay so i'm going to check uh our number Ten. Okay, let me just go down a little bit. Just down again. Okay. So now number ten says that uh, connect the following windings in a three-phase mode and transform. So you will get this drawing one and two, but the answer you won't get it. The answer is something that you always have to come up with. Okay, but this is just for your to show you what actually is being asked on an ARPL question and just for you to understand or, or to know the, the format okay so uh, for your delta connection and for your star connection so we know that always star is the answer we're just gonna put a line here that's that's actually right and then for our delta connection we're just gonna put a line here here and here so we are putting the lines vertical here but here we're just putting one line which is uh, horizontal Okay, so you can look at star as something which is uh, combined everything you see so everything let's just put a v2 u1 and w1 on one point okay but now these ones is you can just see that separated okay but uh, you must go watch my video i've done this so this is just for you to basically understand and see how everything functions or how the paper is being said so let me let's meet on the next video and uh, don't forget to like, subscribe, and press the thank you button. So thank you for watching. Chop, chop.